Hello, my dear friends. Our today's topic is fit and circulation. Myself, Dr. Vishnu, and today I am going to teach about fit and circulation. Without this topic, my dear guys, there is no question paper, no wear. At least one question from this. So please pay attention on my video. All my dear doctors, pay attention on this video. Okay. If we all knows, we all knows when we are alive, we are taking a breath. Our lungs help full. But when a fetus inside a mother, I know, uterus, then how he take a breath? My dear doctors, anybody knows how he survives? Yes, doctor Emily. Uh, is any comments? How he take a breath? How? Say. कैसे सांस लेगा बच्चा? माँ के पेट. Placenta. Placenta. Yes, you are right. Welcome. Come here, my dear guy. Yes, he is a very challenging and very nice guy. Nice doctor, Emily. Yes, I am proud. Yes, you are right. Thank so you. please sit down. Thank okay, you. okay. Thank you. Let's start our lecture, guys. It's very necessary. Uh, in placental circulation, there is right and left umbilical arteries. Okay, let's focus here. Let's bring camera near it. Okay, then I will show you this lecture. Very easy. Right and left umbilical arteries carry deoxygenated blood from where? From descending aorta, from the descending aorta, it carries a blood deoxygenated. Then it goes into the placenta, placenta, and then placenta purifier blood, placenta purifier blood, and transmitting a blood into left umbilical vein. Umbilical vein it carries. UV means umbilical, and V means vein. It carries oxygenated blood in the fetal circulation. Then it goes upward into the liver with the help of DV. DV here is ductus venosus. So, my dear friends, try to understand and focus on it. Ductus venosus and then liver, then inferior vena cava. It drains into right atrium. See here on the board. And from the superior vena cava, from the upper side of the body, the blood drains here. It's deoxygenated, but here is some logic in the fetus circulation. As we know, the blood transfers from right atrium to a left atrium by which? By the help of foramen ovale. There is a connection between foramen ovale and then the blood goes into the left atrium and the left atrium to the left ventricle and then it goes to the aorta then it goes to the aorta it's very very simple so try to be understand then we are going to learn about the theory also this is my diagrammatically representations okay then right atrium some blood drain into right ventricle also then it right ventricle it goes upward in pulmonary artery see here this is my diagram these are the pulmonary artery and it is a bifurcation between them it is an see guys do you remember a connection between aorta and a pulmonary artery in a fetus circulation it is ductus arteriosus my dear friends i already written here because this diagram is not clearly visible i hope so but here is it visible bifurcation between the pulmonary artery trunk and the iota if my speed is faster so please say me okay right yes yes my dear emily friend you are right <laughs> you are good looking yes answers everybody is looking perfect right. and they are paying attention on my lecture <laughs> okay good now now we are going to we already understood the fate of circulation now we are going to learn a theory okay i already written here so guys please keep your pen and pencil and start to write a theory i already explained sometimes they ask a question okay keep this okay now i am going to focus yeah 
from here to here you understand everything i hope so very perfectly i really realize guys okay i don't know how much you know but you can know you have to practice everything they are asking some questions in exam which vein is left yes in umbilical which vein is left so no need to think about right vein is left or left vein is left yeah because left vein is left do you know the meaning of left vein is left so, so only left vein only left vein is the answer <clears throat> so always go for left vein sometimes they ask mcq repeatedly in so many examinations like they have one two arteries umbilical and two umbilical vein no only one umbilical vein and two umbilical arteries so they ask <coughs> so many times such a question okay now we are going to discuss some theory now you understand every circulation like right to left umbilical artery goes in placenta then purifies blood by left umbilical vein then in ductus venosus through the liver then inferior vena cava superior vena cava drain into right atrium then right atrium to left atrium then left atrium to left ventricle then in the aorta and there is a crunch then descending aorta and then again circulation start and another tract is right atrium to right ventricle then pulmonary arteries because here the lungs are collapsed guys here lungs is collapsed no but little blood goes so don't think so there is a no blood circulation in the lungs here is a circulation in the lung also but little not so much and there is a bifurcation between the pulmonary artery and the aorta this is known as ductus arteriosus now we are going to know some changes after birth when a baby take a first breath after delivery some changes occurs okay what kind of changes occurs now it's a very important topic and they are repeatedly asked repeatedly yes they are going to ask left umbilical vein this left umbilical vein i am going to teach you okay now the remains which are left after birth right left umbilical vein left umbilical vein it changes into ligamentum teres see here left umbilical vein changes into ligamentum teres okay guys you remember left umbilical vein changes into right ligamentum teres yes you are right then ductus venous is here ductus venous is so remove ductus and remember venous and ligamentum venous is it remaining is ligamentum venous is ligamentum venosum okay then foramen oval is a connection between right atrium and left atrium which supply a blood from right atrium to left atrium it convert into fossa ovalis in adult heard there is a fossa ovalis remember and these two ligaments are liver ligament like ligamentum teres present in a liver or in ligamentum venosum in a liver then ductus arteriosus ductus arteriosus guys it converts into ligamentum arteriosum ligamentum arteriosum so i hope you all understand this see again i will show you in my video left umbilical vein change into ligamentum teres ductus venosus change into ligamentum venosum foramen oval changes into fossa ovalis ductus arteriosus changes into ligamentum arteriosum so guys i hope now you remember now you remember this and recall this so they are repeatedly asked what changes occurs after left umbilical vein <coughs> umbilical vein yeah it changes into ligamentum teres now it's your turn it's your turn now i am going to ask some questions and you have to answer okay ductus arteriosum changes into ligamentum teres arteriosum my dear friend that don't do mistake then ductus venosum changes into ligamentum teres venosum yes you are right my dear friends my pronunciation is sometimes different so don't go about my pronunciations okay so please my aim to explain you this video creating lessons yeah fetal circulation and after that my next video come on congenital heart defect i hope you learned this normal circulation my dear doctors so please try to remember and if you like my video yeah. please subscribe my video and put like on my video 
and if you have some questions you can ask me guys i will answer i try my best to answer you okay that's all today and meet on next my video okay good yes, bye please tell good me. bye my dear friends yeah. yes you have some questions yeah ask ask yes please tell me <coughs> how to fit the circulation after bath yeah i will give me the explain yeah i already uh, explain you this uh, left amica uh, vein uh, after fetal circulation after birth it remains into ligamentum teres right okay guys right? okay. i am very happy you are asking a question that means you are not sleeping in my class it's very good ductus venosum it changes into ligamentum venosum right. so that remove or right. the ligamentum venosum it's right. a liver ligament okay then this is a forearm and oval mm -hmm. after birth there is a change this is known as fossa ovalis ovalis ovalis, ovalis. ovalis. yeah then that is arteriosis after birth it remains into ligamentum arteriosus so that's all my dear friends thank, thank you thank goodbye thank and you. have a good day thank you sir okay i come